guys, uh, my name is Kevin Keane, we're here at Scottsdale Golf and been emailing you uh, in the last week or so, uh, competition entries, uh, guess the Open winner and also been really good hearing all your stories about uh, golf trips, golf days, seeing all your pictures and we're just in the process of sending uh, the bag and the Adidas shoes out today. Uh, we're here in our uh, workshop, this is where we carry out all of our custom fitting and club repairs and the reason I wanted to talk to you today was to uh, really discuss the importance of bounce when you uh, are in the process of selecting uh, the right wedge. It's often overlooked and most people tend to focus purely on the loft and some of you may not even be aware what bounce is and what the numbers are just after the loft. Not all wedges have got them on uh, but these I've got a couple of Vokies here and if you see the, the first number is obviously the loft, so I've got a 58 and a 60 but the second number after the dot is the bounce and the 58 degree I've got uh, has 12 degrees of bounce so it says 58, 12 and the 60 degree has 4 degrees of bounce, so 60, 04 and really what that means is it's how sharp the leading edge is in relation to the angle it sits off the ground so a 58, 12, that's quite a lot of bounce, so it's good for somebody like me who tends to get a bit steep through, through impact, has a tendency to, to dig uh, and take quite large divots, so if I had something like a 60, 04, unless the ground was really firm, then the club would end up sticking a little bit in the ground, it wouldn't be a great option for me, so if you've got quite a steep swing and you're playing a lot of golf on soft parkland courses, then something with 12 or 14 degrees of bounce would be the, the best option for you. The second one, the 60-04, a lot of the players at the Open last week there at Muirfield, because the ground was so firm, they put in uh, wedges with a lot less bounce. So 60-04s and 58-6s, and even then they'd probably grind off some, some more of the bounce on the the sole here, just so it would make it easier to get under the ball. So compared to the 58-12, as that sits on the ground there, it sits very closely to the turf and makes it easy to get under the ball, and less tendency there for the club to hit the ground and hit halfway up the ball, and then you scull it over the green and uh, get into all kinds of problems. So when you're considering making a purchase for a new wedge, or wedges if you're thinking of changing all of them. Obviously you need to get the right loft and the, the right spacing in between the, uh, uh, the, the lofts, whether it's three, four or five wedges you, you have in your bag. But don't overlook the bounce because depending on uh, your swing and the course you're playing on, that is a very important factor also. <laughs>